I last visited Hargeisa six months ago, and I intend to continue to visit regularly for discussions with senior officials, as well as non-governmental actors on developments in Somaliland. The United Nations maintains a full-time office in Hargeisa and implements a wide range of programs to benefit the people of Somaliland. During this visit, I was honored to meet with uh, President Bihi and members of his cabinet, civil society representatives, political party leaders, and international partners working in Somaliland. I also visited a disability skills project and a wildlife rescue project. The United Nations welcomes initiatives aimed at building mutual confidence and fostering dialogue between Hargeisa and Mogadishu. We believe there are many areas in which greater cooperation could improve security, promote economic growth, and improve the lives of the people. We encourage rapid progress to complete all necessary steps for Somaliland to hold parliamentary elections in 2020. We welcome the inter-party dialogue and urge implementation of the recent agreements that would enable preparations for elections to be held in 2020. We call on Somaliland authorities to ensure respect for freedom of speech and assembly, as well as the ability of political parties to organize and function. Such political space is essential for a credible process. We are committed to continuing United Nations engagement with Somaliland and our many programs in support of its people. With 16 United Nations offices, agencies, funds and programs active in Somaliland, our support covers a wide range of governance, security, development and humanitarian programs. As examples, the UN's work includes support to primary schools, equipping teachers with the skills and materials to provide a sound basic education. We provide assistance to internally displaced people and refugees in Somaliland, fleeing conflict elsewhere or forced to move by drought. We support the rule of law, policing, and the justice system. The UN's work is diverse, but the common thread is that it aims to make a practical and positive difference to the people and public services of Somaliland. Again, I thank our hosts for the kind reception. I look forward to continuing regular visits to Hargeisa to maintain our communication and collaboration and to follow up on the important issues that we have discussed this week.